guys, today I have my introduction to the Seven Flings of Summer Challenge. This was initially created by Steph from The Daisy Girly, who unfortunately no longer makes videos. I'll link her channel in the box so you can go and watch her videos because I, every so often, every so often, I still like to go back and watch her videos. There are quite a few um, project planners that don't make videos anymore, but I still like to go back and watch their, their videos because it's very motivational. So I will carry on doing this project in her honour um, and hopefully maybe someday she might come back to YouTube and, and do videos. You never know. You never know. <laughs> so the chat, the concept is to pick seven kind of summer themed products and to use them over the course of the summer. The project will end on the 21st of September or whenever the, is it a solstice? Equinox? I think it's an equinox when the equinox is um, and we officially transition from summer into autumn fall whichever you want to call it anyways I will jump in and share with you the products I picked oh some of them are doozies some of them are doozies like these guys um I picked the all hours foundation primer because because I absolutely love absolutely love the Becca backlight priming filter and I do still have another one but before I crack open that I want to work through my other primers and I have been mixing the Max Factor Face Finity primer with a liquid illuminator and creating a sort of makeshift backlight priming filter and I kind of figure because this is very similar to the Face Finity I would do that with this primer and just make my own Becca backlight primer filter um, which will make this easier to use more desirable because I had this in a project last year and I just never reached for it because I was like oh it'll be too dry it'll be too mattifying mix it with an illuminator and I'm sure it's going to be fan dabby dozy so <laughs> there is that and then I have this bad boy um, this is just I think it's called the conceal and define powder because it's from that range and look as I'm tapping it like powder is just just knocking out of the back here like this is powder just leaks out of this little section here this hinge and I hate it um it's a freaking mess this entire packaging situation is a mess which I probably wouldn't mind if the powder was nice but it's it's not that great I like, I, I really like Revolution makeup. Um, generally, they're, for, in my personal experience, I'm very selective about which products I pick because I know a lot of them, they're, a lot of them. I know that you get a lot of like the odd dud, like really bad product. But my experience, I've always picked good ones and I just thought this was gonna be good because the other powders that they came out with were really nice. This is not so good. This is very like, 2010 ELF HD quality powder. So yeah, <laughs> I just want to get it used up, get it out of my collection. I don't want it to go to waste and I don't want it to sit around too long and me just low-key despise it constantly every time I open a drawer and see it there. So we're going to work on using that guy up. And then I have the Tender Mauve blush from Laura Mercier. I want to try and hit pan on this. If I could hit pan on this, I'd be super happy. It's only 3.6 grams, so it's not a whole lot of blush. Um, but at the same time, I am panning a lot of blushes, generally. Um, but I would like to try and hit pan on this over the course of the summer. I have a lipstick from L'Oreal in Red Passion. Um, this is the Cheryl Cole shade. It is a beautiful classic red and I do have a lot of reds going on um, so throwing another red in the mix hey why not um again I don't necessarily want to finish this but if I could maybe use it let's that goal of like if I could use it 50 times I would be happy that yeah I think that'd be easily done between now and September and then I have three pencil products. Um, one is a lip pencil in the shade Coral. Um, this is an Avon lip pencil. 
in the shade Coral. It is a gorgeous, like, tangerine orange almost. It is very... It, it's very orange. It's not very coral. It's very orange. Um, and I do have quite a bit of this left. It's about half of the product that would normally be there. Maybe closer to quarters, actually. And um, then I have an eyeliner. This is one of the... Um, the Glimmerstick Brights collection that came out, I believe this time last year. Um, this is in the shade Purple Punch. And this is a matte purple eyeliner. It is really nice. And I'm almost finished another purple eyeliner, so this will slot perfectly into my rotation. And then lastly, I have one from NYX. Um, I want to finish both the lip liner and the eyeliner. This guy, I don't think I'd be able to finish this. This is in golden copper, I want to say. Yeah, golden bronze. It's in golden bronze. And it is stunning. It is beautiful. Um, but I might just set, like, either a usage goal or, like, a sharpen goal. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Because um, I am panning a lot of eyeliners at the moment. Pencil liners are a lot harder to go through than the mechanical ones. Um, but I have a lot more of the mechanical ones than the pencil ones. So it kind of works out in my favour. Uh, but I would like to try and move these pencil ones out because they are older. But I'll come up with a usage goal in the next update. So anyways, <laughs> that is my intro to the seven flings of summer. If you want to join in, please feel free. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.